was to him. How embarrassing. But I won't let this be my son of Mira and Toa. Your time has come at last. You're his apprentice. You're his R. But what are you doing here? My master has sent me to eradicate all resistance that stands in the way of his rule, including you. On what charge? Why couldn't your master be bothered to show himself? My master is in a state of hibernation in which it will take a hundred years for his majesty to obtain his full power once again. To counter this hiatus, he has gifted me with the power of immortality and as his loyal apprentice. I shall do his bidding by his name. He has gifted me the chance to witness his full power in all of its glory. And for that, I am truly grateful. But also, let this be known and drill it into your mind. Anyone who dares to stand in our way will be reduced to stardust. <laughs> Master Ozuma, I shall do your bidding all the way to your rebirth. I swear it on my life. Where am I? Is this heaven? Oh, please don't make it hell. You're still very quite alive. But it seems like you've been given a clean bill of health. I'm not, I'm not really sure why, but... It seems that every symptom that you had before you came here has just completely vanished. Well, never mind. At least you made it to a full recovery, despite what the means are, at least. Wait a minute. You're... You're the demigod cat girl, aren't you? You're Ray. I'm so glad to see you again. I'm really glad that you're glad to see me again, but my name is Kay. K-E-I. Um, but um, you should know that someone brought you here, and he had higher regards for you. Wait, how did this all- It is quite simple, man. After your battle with Kyoromi, and when you landed the final blow, you have purified the world that you and Daku created. Thanks to you, a Big Bang was created, restarting the world that you foolishly created, asshole. However, this not only saves you you his life, but everybody as well. The seven M gods are now guardians of the galaxy. Sean and his friends lived peaceful lives, and all the CPUs were regressed into babies, due to the fact that time itself has reversed to the point where Ozum did not manipulate, attack or destroy the multiverse. This is likely due to your ascension to a level beyond the gods. And instead, he continued his work as a guardian, and the years went by, peaceful and without evil. In all my years of research, I have never been more thankful that his half-assed Big Bang happened. You did great, you clever bastard. I... I don't know what to say, Professor Hawken, I... Oh, wow, this is... I mean, did, did I mess up again? Because I feel like I messed up again. Oh, I don't think you did. Not only were you able to reboot the entire universe, but the planets that were still residing in Heart Dimension that few took over, they were sent into other timelines. Essentially, they all, they all split up and separated across many dimensions and different timelines. Which means you gave what was believed to be extinct species of extraterrestrial life new life on other dimensions and planets. You did a good job, and you should be proud of that. But there's a lot more galaxies to be explored, and a lot more adventures to be had. Once your powers return, that is. I'm, I'm really glad it all worked out in the end. Especially thanks to Uzume's dream power at the end that brought us all back. But I've had a little bit of a think about this. And I knew it was going to, like, 
eradicate my powers a bit, but yeah, I've been thinking about something recently. This world was created because of me and Goku. You attacked a lot of dimensions because of me. And Sabi was taken out of his timeline because of me. So, since everything is all good again, I think I would rather just wait, wait for my powers to come back, just to sit back, and to, I understand, you would, I could tell it from your eyes, those are the eyes of a father who's so self-conscious about his family, and I understand that completely. You have quite a debt to that other Mimo that you worked alongside with. Am I wrong? Is that the answer? My dear Mimo, for so long, I've been away from you for so very long. My adventures have made me realise on how precious you were to me. And it meant sacrificing my powers to do it. But I'm thankful that this happened, in a way. Because now, I finally get to be there for you, as your dad. And well, your mother may you know, dislike me being around since she does find me annoying. I get that. I understand completely. But... I just can't stay away from her. She's a precious part of my life. But it was thanks to her. And that night. That you came into our lives. And don't worry. Your mother can forgive me. In her own... Well, I... Um, or rather she could accept my apology in her own time but just know that wherever I go now it'll be right here on the planet you stand on and just know that daddy loves you always this is my final adventure and the new one's about to begin oh and don't worry about the other dimensions, of course, because after all, infinite, infinite dimensions means infinite heroes. And I can't wait to see what they can do. I figured you would be out here. Why hesitate? This is your timeline, after all. You could see your son again. After all, isn't that the reason why you were born? Yeah, I understand what you're trying to tell me, but I have to refuse. My duty was already fulfilled to the planet Earth back at White Star Village. I'm just essentially a ghost in a living body now, but maybe this way, maybe this way I could help out the Time Patrol and any other dimension that is threatened, but that is under attack by evil. Besides, Natsumi would kill me if I gave up now. And what kind of example would I set to the sun in my time? I guess you're setting an example for Rin too, right, Obito Uchiha? I guess you and I really are alike. So what do you want to do now? Well, Few is defeated, but I feel like this isn't the end. There's somebody out there, somebody more stronger than he is. And he or she is gathering an army. An army to destroy the entire multiverse with her grip. I don't know who she is or where she came from, but I have a feeling that death 
is in the air. Well, I don't get it. I just called the boss. So why is it still... There it is again. I don't understand. Where is it? Where is it? I don't believe it. I'm not sure how, but whoever this is, he or she has the same number as the boss. Could it be? Hello? Uh, this is Dopio. Uh, sorry, but I feel like you got the wrong number. I don't think so. Hey, who are you? You're not the boss. <laughs> no, I'm your new boss, Dopio. I'm gathering a team of individuals that have enough power to destroy this world. Are you interested? Uh, destroy the world? What do you mean? What does, this, what does this have to do with me? I know exactly who you are. And I know about your boss too. I've heard all about your work. Why not follow me and put that power of yours to good use? We've all been waiting for this moment for years. Each and every one of us. You can choose to ignore my warning. And die as you stand. But what if you could do something better than that? Join us. And together. Our forces will annihilate this multiverse and everything that it stands for. All its heroes, all its citizens, they'll all be in your power. And just know, that your service will not only be to me, but it will be to a higher power. A power that is stronger than both you and me. A power that will recreate this dimension. And all those who stand in the way of his rule will be crushed on sight. The rule of my master, Ozama.